you with, uh, with all of you. you want me to? Mark, I hear you want to say something. Yeah. And by the way, the first thing I want to say is, if you ever might write a speech, don't ask anybody's advice okay, about the speech. Because I have to tell you, I had like a beautiful three-page, like well-organized uh -oh. speech, and then I started asking people, well, what do you think about this? When, what do you think about that? And so, like, the first thing I got for the first oh part God. is, what, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, I had to go. <laughs> and then, this section got really won over people. Don't go there. <laughs> so I had to cross out. All right? Do we have copies and of this? No, no, no. Okay, and then, you know, this is like, this was like the cap of all. At the very end, this is crossed out, and it's like, is it too late to call in sick? <laughs> okay, so then I'm just going to kind of wing it a little bit. And, and try to go up here. All right. So, you know, I have, how many do I have? I guess I have six nieces and nephews, and, and we're blessed. I love my family. We have, everybody's great. But honestly, Jason's the one that I've been closest to from day one. And, you know, my sisters are going to probably hate me for saying this. But the truth, I mean, part of it is, is we live closest. You know, we live in Lafayette. They're in Alamo. The other part is my oldest daughter is closest in age to Jason, and they've, they've always been close. But a big part is that we've just always had a great connection, and we have a lot of shared interests, and I've just had a lot of great times with Jason, and a lot of really good memories. And, you know, memories of times that... You know, <laughs> I'm getting people's reactions. <laughs> I'm going for, like, the scenic shots. Yeah, right. you know, like, I'm picking up the audio. Yeah, get, get in the yard. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of family times and and lots of times in Lake Tahoe and you know great you know great time sledding and and also like skiing you know where Jason you know really followed in his father's footsteps on the slopes and I mean literally on the slopes. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> One of the great things that I've been able to do in my life is coach. And I, I have four daughters, and you know everybody who knows me knows that I really wanted to have a boy. And and after, you know... <laughs> I mean, it's okay back then. No, we so love you. Past tense. Right. Past tense. And so, but, but I was lucky because all my kids right played now. sports. <laughs> and I coached 20 seasons of soccer and basketball. Oh, and had just a ton of great experiences. And we won a lot of championships. Okay? But my What's best year... <laughs> My best year was a year that we didn't win, okay? And the reason it was my best year is because of my assistant coach. And my assistant oh. coach was Jason. Oh. And, is that why you and didn't it win? Was, I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> and it was just a, it was a fantastic experience because I got to see him a few times a week. He actually called me, which is, you know, if you know Jason, that's a minor error. <laughs> and of course, if you knew me, you'd realize this is the pot calling the kettle yeah, black. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I'm notorious for not, in fact, a guy from my fraternity once thought I was in the witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since he heard from me. But, but, you know, it was, and it was wonderful to coach with Jason. Because, you know, he, he was in high school, he was going through, you know, it wasn't the greatest time in his life. And he, uh, <laughs> I mean, not as good as now, I guess. <laughs> That was that was the don't go. There. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, John. Probably, probably just no, but I, but I never felt like I was white enough yet. That's why you're still here. I I never felt like I was coaching with the kid. You know, I mean, Jason was just so mature, and he was just so great with the kids, and the kids loved him. Okay, and to this day, something that makes me really proud is that when you walk into Jason's room, he's got a handful of pictures, okay? And this is one of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, and That's I gay now. I you guys are all saying, wow, my what a cool haircut. Saying, but, uh, no. <laughs> didn't you already edit enough of this? <laughs> okay. So, don't worry. It won't be too long. <laughs> so Jason, you know, from day one has been precocious, you know, bright, personable. And then one of the things I've seen more and more in recent years, which is great, is self-assurance. And, you know, all of us who are parents know there's nothing that you want more from your kids than for them to really feel good about themselves. And it's been great to see, like, it started in college, you know, definitely having Stephanie has helped in a big way. Oh, man. So it really, no, so it means a lot to me to see that. And, you know, all of us are really proud of Jason. And then, 
Um, but he's lucky because he has some unbelievable role. Okay? And what you're Cheers to that, guys. Yeah. 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 No, but I mean, in so many okay. ways, they're great role models. Okay, I Mom, swear. would you go sit down? <laughs> Usually she's my best audience, right? It's like, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> It's like, no, but I mean, they, you know, they're great role models in really terms of Mine's a really great short. couple, you, yeah. members of the community, you know, it's gonna be on the hard camera, right? working, yeah. And, yeah. and I think that, you know, Jason and, and Stephanie, hopefully you've learned a lot from that. I'm working on it. The Sharks are losing at the end of the period, he changes seats. Right, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. But so does Barry. Do <laughs> well, I have to change seats with him? Yeah. All right. And just a couple more things. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> yeah. You know, I remember something that you said to my mom um, a long time ago that really, you know, said a lot to me. And you told her, and this is about Stephanie, that you felt like you won the lottery. And, and I think that, you know, everyone should feel that way about their spouse, okay? And then, of course, after they went shopping together, he said, I need to win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, right. so in the in the Dave Wrestler tradition of toasting, I'd like to give a no glass toast. Uh,